Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Scrote, and we are taking a look at From the Depths today. It's our Let's Learn series, and today we're going to be building an engine. Our very first engine, and by, so uh, we're going to want to hop into the vehicle designer to get things started here. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do real quick here is expand this platform. So I'm going to pop on mirror mode here and just flesh this out a little bit. Now, each of these tutorials will be making use of what mainly the first two tutorials were, uh, building on GUI and learning the building basics, so I won't be re-explaining those. So if you don't know those, you may want to go back and take a look at the previous tutorials. So anyways, let's go ahead and, and move forward here. So to start with an engine, what you want to do is go to the Engines tab in the Build Inventory, and we're going to start with an engine block. That is the, the meat, the bread and butter of your engine, so to speak. So once you have an engine block down, what you want to then do is place some crankshafts. Now, each of these crankshafts, your engine power will eventually become proportional to how many crankshafts you have installed. So for something basic, even, you know, we'll just do one crankshaft. That's all we're going to put on there. Now, on the crankshaft, you'll want to put the cylinders. And, and here's an interesting tip. So you can see the crankshaft has these little green arrows pointing left, up, right, forward, uh, there would be one down, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but this this lets you know where you can install the piece you have selected. So we've got the cylinder selected. And if we wanted, we could install it on the left, the right, or just right on top. And for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on all three spots here. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Next up, carburetors. Carburetors go on the cylinders. In fact, if you read the uh, the description for it, it says, the effects are stackable. These blocks will connect to cylinders that are below, left, right, forwards, and backwards. So pretty much on all sides of the cylinder. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to place some carburetors, okay? Let's place some on the uh, left and right. Let's place some on the top. And let's place some up here as well. How about that? It's going to be a big old engine. Now, next up, we're going to want to place some fuel tanks. Fuel tanks attach to the carburetors. Like so. So we could put one on the left and right. We could and again, this may not be the most efficient engine, but what I'm doing is showing you how the engine connects up. And it's kind of based on how it's laid out here. Um, in the order of the, the GUI, how the layout is for each of the parts you can select. See the engine block. Crankshaft connects to the engine block. Cylinder connects to the crankshaft. Exhaust to cylinder. Carburetor to cylinder. Supercharger and engine tank to carburetor. So we're going to place a couple superchargers on there. Now at this point, you don't really have to. So I place two just right on top of the carburetors. And now if we go look at our engine, look what we've got. 45 power output. Our fuel use per power usage is 0 .004, 0 .005 if you want to round up. And this lets you know you're doing everything right. Once you've hooked up parts of the engine, when you mouse over the engine block, you should see statistics that show all the parts you've connected. So, you know, we only have one crankshaft. We've got three cylinders, six fuel tanks. Uh, we could also place an exhaust on there. And what an exhaust does is it provides extra power capacity and fuel efficiency to cylinders. So for instance, we could place some exhausts right there. So you can see we got more power. And But look, our fuel use per power usage went down. We gained more fuel efficiency, which means we don't need to keep as much fuel on our craft. And so now I'll just show you what uh, how this works. We'll just, we'll just test this out real quick. And to do that... Uh, we are going to add on a, let me find it here, control. We want to go to the control tab, vehicle controller. Let's pop one of these right up in the front. And then just because, let's put a chair right over that. I'm going to go ahead and, if you mouse over the chair and uh, hit Q, you can put your avatar in there. And we're going to go to the water tab and let's add a boat propeller. Just right to the back just like so and so you can see now how t and g at the upper left of my screen they have they are red which means we can now accelerate so if i press g it's going to use the engine to power the propellers and look at that look at that we are cruising baby this is pretty sweet and uh, so if we also put some some boat propellers on the front left and right you can see uh nope that didn't do what i was thinking it would do Maybe they're not uh, specifically at the right location, maybe. Uh, let me see here. We should be able to turn these into thrusters. Oh, they are. Strange. Very strange. 
Usually you can put thrusters on the left and right to get uh, to a Oh, okay, they're working. So I'm using Y and I. For some reason for the boat, you can see at the top left that it just shows two steering wheels uh, for what the hotkeys would be. But anyways, see, this works. Simple engine, not very complex. And you can see even this engine, we're only using, look, we're using 10 of the power, 49 of 59 power down at the bottom right. And uh, and we're, we're just cooking. I mean, if we wanted, we have so much extra power. This will probably actually flip us out of the water is what I imagine. Let's see. So here we're using most of our engine power now. And we are cruising around at like close to 13. Pretty awesome. So there you go. Not only was this our first engine, but it was kind of a basic boat. But uh, we will be doing a legit boat in another video. So you guys, this was Basic Engine. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any comments or questions, definitely uh, leave them on the video. I'll be happy to help you out. And otherwise, we'll see you next time. You guys take it easy and stay classy.